Shu has fallen by my hand. Now, my only adversary in my quest to rule the land is the Sun family of Zhang Dan. The Sun family. They have only grown larger and stronger throughout this chaos. Perhaps I underestimated the strength of the tiger's bloodline. However, the time for me to realize my ambition is close at hand. I shall not back down from the tiger. I shall face him. This shall be our final battle. It appears that Wu thinks they have an opportunity to attack us while we are busy fighting with Shu. This is the perfect chance for us to destroy Wu. Their forces are merely taking a position. Wu considers this to be the final battle. Therefore, they will be coming at us with everything they have. We should defend the castle and attack once the enemy begins to show signs of fatigue. My lord, the land shall soon be yours! This is an enormous castle, Father. To think that Wu has come this far. Hold your tongue. This is all due to my oversight at Chi Bi. But this time, we'll hunt down and slay the entire Sun family. Let this be our final battle with Wu. Ready. My ambition cannot be stopped. My ambition cannot be stopped! This is to be my final battle. My ambition cannot be stopped.
might was not enough. My ambition cannot be stopped. My ambition cannot be stopped! Leave this to me! Ambition cannot be stopped. Something's wrong. This is too easy. I can see right through their plan. Call up a new ram and continue attacking the walls. My ambition cannot be stopped. This shall add momentum to our cause. You should have brought your allies. My ambition cannot be stopped. It's no use trying to bring in new forces at this stage. Begin the counterattack. We must strike like the wind, just like the tacticians of old. Finish them off. I shall match your might with the power of my wit. Now is our chance. Prepare to attack.
everything you have into this attack! This one's mine. over already. My ambition cannot be stopped. Go and eliminate the enemy. The enemy won't even know what hit them. I shall return that in time! Time to finish this! My ambition cannot be stopped! Was impressive. The tide of battle has shifted in our favor. We've got them right where we want them. Victory is almost within our reach. We've got them right where we want them. Your head is mine. Kneel before me. Is the end. My ambition cannot be stopped. Wisdom and courage to get us through this. Is this how I'm to meet my end? My ambition cannot be stopped.
Let me show you the fighting spirit of the Soon family. There's no way I'm gonna lose to you. Left unfulfilled. My ambition cannot be stopped. Now you'll see what I'm really made of. I will never abandon the dreams of my kingdom. Kneel before me! Witness the fighting spirit of the Soon family of Wu. I'll put an end to your reckless ambitions. I have let my father and brother down. My ambition cannot be stopped. I should have expected this from Wu, to cause this much trouble for our army. This truly was a fitting battle with which to sound the end of the Three Kingdoms era. With Shu and Wu both gone, there are none left to oppose Wei's ownership of the land. <laughs> I think I might actually kind of miss them. Perhaps it is nothing. A new but this bu It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Cao Cao was a master of both the literary and martial arts since he was a young boy. Both clever and charismatic, he would come to be known as a hero of chaos. The chaos in the land reached its peak after the defeat of the Yellow Turbans and Dong Zhuo. Cao Cao insisted that he must be the one to unify the land and began to mobilize his armies. Cao Cao had mustered a great force and was successful in defeating his nemesis, Yuan Shao. After taking control of Hua Bei, everything went exactly as he had planned. In 208 AD, Cao Cao took his army south, for Sun Quan and Liu Bei had formed an alliance against him. However, the combined strategies of Zhou Yu and Zhu Ge Liang thwarted Cao Cao's advance and his forces took a heavy toll. After a harrowing escape, Cao Cao would regroup and attack Shu, decimating Liu Bei's forces at the Wuzhang Plains. He later repelled Wu's attack at Heifei with great success, thus making up for the humiliation he suffered at Qi Bi.
With the land finally united, the days of fighting have finished. However, this was not the end of Cao Cao's ambitions. He will continue to fight in order to further create a land worthy of this new era. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. Destiny draws even closer. However, the real battle for the land has just begun! This land has already seen much chaos, but sometimes it is necessary to achieve peace! Thank <laughs> you.